Yo, what's going on guys? This is Juniper Game here, and I am Josh L. Bring you guys a tutorial video for the Elgato Game Capture HD. I just got one of these bad boys today, and I'm going to show you guys a nice little tutorial video for some of you that want to record some Wii U footage. Right now, I am on my capture software. You can see it's all here. It's all cool, whatever. And this is the game capture screen. I'm going to let it automatically go to its little full screen mode. So you guys can see that there are some black bars on the side, on the top, the bottom, everything. It's not really that good. And some of you may be having this problem as well. And on your videos, there are these borders. And that's not good. Now, for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the gamepad. And obviously, I don't have a capture card for my gamepad. So you're going to see a little bit of my face cam. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do this. So I'm going to see if I can get this all sorted out. And you can see my face. And you can see my face. And what you're going to want to do is on your gamepad. So you got a gamepad there. You're going to go to the system settings. That little wrench there. Make sure you're not on any game or anything. Go on that. And then you're going to want to scroll down. Once it loads up. Once it loads up. Once it loads up. And now there's really um, there's not a lot you can see on the game capture screen. It's just instructions on how to uh, get to the system settings. So you're going to want to go to here on your gamepad. You can have your system settings there. And you're going to just scroll to the right, 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 until you get to TV. Oh, I said right a little too many times. But anyway, go to where it says TV. Just keep on going to the right until you see the TV setting. And then just click A. Just click A. That's all. <laughs> and then you'll see some more options come up. I'll show it to you guys because, once again, this is only on the gamepad, which kind of sucks. And just scroll down. Scroll on down until you get to the little thing that says screen size at the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. Click on that bad boy. And now you're going to see some options. You're going to see some options once again. Uh, you're going to have to move the slider to the left and right until it is big enough to fit the Elgato screen. So I'm going to turn off my face cam and I'm going to show you guys. So you're going to slide it to the left or to the right. If it's, Well, I don't know why I would do it to the left, but make it bigger. Go ahead and slide it to the right so it's bigger. See how it does it with a little bit. I actually made it a little bit bigger, so we need a little bit more so you can still see that there's a little bit of a border. So let's go ahead, make it a little bit bigger even. Let's make it the biggest it can be, and it looks like that's just about what we need. You can still see maybe a little bit of a border, but it's pretty much gone. It's better than like this. This is what we just had. This is, uh, where, where can we, here we go, I just moved it back. That's how it was like before, which is really not good. Now you made the largest that you really can. And uh, it may look on the video like there is a little bit of a border, but that I'm not even using the Elgato game capture right now. I'm capturing my monitor, so there really is no border anymore, which is excellent. Just uh, click A to confirm on your gamepad, and that's pretty much that. Then you're all ready to go. Yeah, there we go. Go back. Whatever you gotta do. Quit out of system settings. And now you're good to go to record your Elgato all full quality and, you know, full screen. And my mouse was just on the screen, so I apologize for that. But anyway, that's just about it for this tutorial video on how to get rid of the black bars on the Wii U. If you have any trouble with anything else on the Elgato, I'm gonna... I'm looking into stuff for my Elgato now, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'm assuming this also works for the Elgato Game Capture HD60. Yeah, I don't have that, but it probably works very similar since it's, uh, you know, same brand, very similar capture card. But anyway, if this video did help you, hit that like button and let me know if you used it down in the comment section below. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because now I got the Elgato, so we're going to have even better videos. And uh, if you've been on the channel, we only have uh, the rest of 3D World. That will be the PVR still. But uh, soon we'll be doing a lot more Elgato stuff. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.